All Bladebridge configurations are funded by partners on behalf of end user projects and are not an endorsement by Bladebridge or its team members. Hello everyone, this is Itzien with Bladebridge and today I'll be demoing our brand new HANA calculation view converter. Specifically, I'll be converting it to SQL code. Um, everything that you need for conversion, you can always find directly on our portal. Our executable and a configuration file. Um, what I like doing is I always create a folder with everything that I need to create uh, to run conversion. So my configuration file right here, the executable, and our so our source file. So I exported this directly from the HANA uh, calculation view. Uh, we can look take a look at the XML or calculation view in this case. Um, so it looks like this. It has different components and variables that will be um, converted directly into SQL. What I like doing is also creating a bat file. This bat file has every single command that, I, that I'll need to run conversion. So I just set a root here just to make it a little more um, readable. And then the executable. And the executable needs a license file. So this is something that we will provide to you. Um, the D option is to specify a folder. So in this case, it points to this folder with all of our inputs, uh, ETL jobs that we want to convert. And the N output is, okay, where we want to convert to. Uh, in this case, I will just delete this for the demo just so we can see real-time conversion. And I like to redirect it. Uh, oh yeah, also the configuration file. This is a vital piece of conversion here at Bladebridge. Um, we here at Bladebridge chose to externalize our configuration file in order to allow our clients to convert things how they want to convert things giving people more flexibi flexibility. Um, as, as you know, there are a million ways to convert something, but uh, the specific syntax, we try to put and externalize as much as possible in the configuration file to allow you to have liberty um, to change how things are getting converted. Um, we really did not want our customers to be working in a black box solution. And then we got to specify the uh, target technology. In this case, it's going to be SQL. And I just like redirecting my output um, to a log file just just so um, um, I can see everything goes on. Um, you don't really need to worry about that. So let's get started. Um, we'll take a look at the configuration file after conversion. But here we go. I only need to specify the... Oh, let's clear this. I only need to specify the uh, bat file in the right root folder, obviously, and click enter. And here we go. And in our target, we have the three jobs converted. Let's take a look. So with Henna Calculation View, it makes a lot of sense, as you as you know, um, to create a lot of CTEs, similar to how it is laid out in the um, in the user interface. Uh, we create a lot of CTEs to convert directly the um, different components. So this is has expression nodes, joiner nodes, and eventually our our aggregator. Um, we can take a look at the second one as well. So this creates a view with 
with the joiner aggregate or joiner no aggregator yet. Yep, aggregator right here. So great. Um, let's take a look at the configuration file. Awesome. So as you can see, we created a lot of CTEs. We specified that directly in um, the configuration file to allow you to choose between a CTE approach or any other approach that you would uh, want. Um, and then the script header, so creating a view versus creating maybe a table or any other thing that you would um, want. Uh, um, and we also have line substitution. So this works with rejects. This is a way to specify a pattern that you find in the code and change to a specific uh, nomenclature that you specify here. And function substitution, as you know, different source and target, uh, different technologies have different functions and you can specify a pattern to changing that specific function right in here. If you have any questions, we, we love to answer all of them. I hope you guys enjoyed this demo and um, see you at the next one. Bye-bye.